Hi, I'm Kristen with the ALS 411 on Handicapped Accessible Vehicles. Today we're going to be showing our friend's side entry van, and then we'll show you our van. So, the side entry here, this is a Braun Ability van. The ramp automatically folds up. It's easy. But the thing is, is it can also break down and then it would need repairs. So it's it worked pretty well for them. Um, please do not park within eight feet. So one potential problem with the side entry is parking. Um, my friend said that people have parked too close and then she's had to either ask them to move their vehicle if she could find the owner or she's had to back up and find a different spot where her husband could get in. And then it clicks right in. And it turns. That is sweet. His wheelchair is made to slide right in here, click into place, and then he can even turn in there and face forward looking out. He has a, um, a chair here too when he was able to drive he could turn this chair swivels out and then he could transfer into the chair. And they have had passengers ride with them too. There's the, the bench left for people they could squeeze in behind the wheelchair. So that is the side entry. It's a Honda van and they've been really happy with it. And now this is our rear entry Toyota van. It's a manual ramp. And so I just clip it into place like this and shut the door. Takes very little effort. And the great thing I like about this, I feel good about, is there's nothing to go wrong. It's a straight shot in. And so Todd can just motor directly in. Before he got the head array, I could drive him in very easily using the attendant control. Now, sometimes he does bump his feet underneath. There's not a lot of room. His feet are sliding up there, kind of underneath the cutout. There are also rear entry vans where you can motor all the way up to the front, which would be an advantage in some ways, but then you lose your bench seat and you kind of have two little jump seats on the side. And we didn't want that because we needed the space for kids and friends and stuff. And then I have these restraints, Q restraints, that I strap in. You could get a locking mechanism for this too. And then Todd backs up a little bit. Or when I was using the attendant control, I could drive him back easily. And then I tighten it up so he's nice and secure. Shut the ramp. Close it. And we're ready to go. So the advantage of rear entry, there are disadvantages. One is that Todd sits so far in the back. The advantage of that is we have room for our two kids and a friend for each of them, which we do occasionally have outings where we need that room. But the disadvantage is, is Todd's way back here and there's a fair amount of road noise, although our friend in the other van said that they have 
a lot of road noise too. I think it's just kind of par for the course with handicap vans. You get rid of a lot of the air sealing, I think, when the um, vans are, the floors are lowered, which they are lowered for this van too. You can see underneath, It comes um, pretty low to the ground, especially when Todd's in it. All the weight of the wheelchair puts it low to the ground, and you do. A, we do occasionally hit um, speed bumps. Do you guys hit speed bumps? Yeah. Our friends, they hit speed bumps too in their van. So we have low ground clearance, but it's all throughout the vehicle. These van floors are lowered, so um, there's headroom. As you could see when Todd was in there, there was... There was headroom for the him. The great thing about this is the conversion cost to have a rear entry back lowered is significantly cheaper. With a manual manual um, ramp. It's a much cheaper conversion. We went with ATS Mobility. There's the logo there on the, the tire. The, the other advantage of the rear entry van is that we can park anywhere if there's no handicap parking. Um, we don't need the side entry space or an empty space to be able to get out. The eight feet of clearance, we can park anywhere except parallel parking in a downtown area can be tricky. Thanks for watching this episode of the ALS 411. Subscribe to our channel and follow our blog at nevastory.com. We'll see you next time.